Hey y'all, I'm not really sure when you're going to see this and what video you're going to see it in, but I decided to combine some locks. Um, I'm, I'll give a detail over, like in a voiceover, but um, I did combine these two already, like this was, these were two separate locks and I combined them into one and I think that looks better. And then I also combine these, these two locks into one lock and now I'm about to combine this right here. The reason I'm combining some of them, because like this one is just so short, you know, so I'm going to combine it. I think I'm going to combine it with, with this one. And then I'm also going to combine, it's just a lot of ones in the front row that have like kind of problems. So this one is a little thin to me. So I'm going to combine that one with the one behind it. And then I'm gonna combine this short one right here with the one behind it. So yeah, and that's all I'm combining. All right, let's get into it. So pretty much I am just twisting the two locks that I want to combine because they're not, because they haven't started matting yet or budding, I can just twist them up to combine them. But if I had, um, like budding already then I would have to use the crochet tool so that way they don't um, separate and get like a um, two-headed dragon so because they hadn't been matured yet and they haven't um, started budding I could just twist it and then I at the end sometimes I'll either braid the end to keep it together or separate one of the ends and twist it with the other part and then I just twirl it around my finger and then um, palm roll it to make sure it stays together and that's pretty much what I did throughout my well throughout all the locks that I decided to combine and so I did this before my retwist because I wanted to make sure that I liked the way they look because if I didn't then I would go ahead and like take them down before doing my retwist but I did like the way they looked so um, I kept them in and doing this before my retwist helps of course so that way they can like start combining on my next retwist. And that's it for now, y'all. Probably once we get into it, like, once I get further along into the journey, I'll probably, like, combine some more. Because there's, like, some thin ones. Like, this one's kind of thin that I might combine. But we'll see. For now, though, um, I'm done. And I'm going to just take these that are trying to come apart and break the ends. Cause I'm not gonna have no dragon tail, two headed dragon. Okay, that's it for this part of the video. Bye. Okay, so last thing, I actually sprayed my locks, and um, I like it so far. Anyways, I'll decide officially before I do my next retwist, which is in a couple of days. So yeah, I combined twelve locks, so minus six from the count overall. Um, cause I am left with six locks where I had twelve. But yeah, I like it so far. Anyways, I just sprayed it and everything. But I like it so far because the front is now even instead of it being so short. Like it just looks so much more symmetric, like in terms of thickness and um and the length. Like granted, it's still a little this side looks a little longer still, but it's a lot better because it used to be like this. So 
Okay, I'll be back. Probably like with the retwist to show y'all what I really think.